Hello everyone and welcome to the latest video in our top five series. My name is Martha and I work for the Society of London Theatre and UK Theatre and as a dance enthusiast myself I really appreciate how dance can be used to confront the emotion of a story but also just help audiences jump up from their seat and join in. There are so many amazing performances to choose from as I'm sure you're aware so getting my favourites down to a list of five has been pretty challenging but nevertheless here they are my top five musical dance numbers. Kicking us off at number five, it's Billy Elliot's Angry Dance. Now this comes at a really important point in the story where Billy is dealing with a lot of pressure and a lot of emotion. And it's a key moment where we start to see how dance becomes a coping mechanism for him. Throughout the number, we see him explore his relationship with dance more. And this builds and builds until there's an explosion of expression. And as he hasn't yet undertaken his formal ballet training, there's a rough and readiness to the choreography um, by Donna Fiore in the stage production, which adds a humble charm to the performance and really makes us fall in love with his character even more. Next in at number four is The Rousing Rhythm of Life from Sweet Charity. Even hearing the introduction to this song makes me want to start dancing. The 1969 film is jam-packed with excellent choreography by Bob Fosse, but this number deserves a spot on my list because it perfectly captures the atmosphere of the swinging 60s, whilst also preaching this infectious joy for life. And you can't help but smile watching the quirky ensemble do their thing alongside the timeless performance of Sammy Davis Jr. It's been interpreted many times over the years, even by the Strictly Professionals in 2018, and quite simply, the rhythm of life is stylized to perfection. The number three spot is given to Shall We Dance from The King and I. Performed by characters Anna and The King, this moment in the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical is known for its romantic tension. Their sometimes difficult friendship blooms in this moment of escapism and they discover joy in learning and teaching simple ballroom steps together. The elegant and playful dance captures the audience's heart and we hope the enchanting scene will go on forever, but alas it does not. Runner up at number two, it's Step in Time from Mary Poppins. I love this production and this dance is my favourite part in it for sure. We see the beaming Bert and his fellow chimney sweep friends find the fun in their surroundings as they perform a demanding and dangerous dance across the rooftops of London. Even Mary and the children get involved. Very jealous. <laughs> We're led on a whirlwind tour of the children's house as they leave a path of soot behind them before skipping off down Cherry Tree Lane. Although there's a stern look from the disapproving Mr Banks, the cheeky choreography by Mark Brox and Dee Dee Wood never fails to impress me. And taking their rightful place at number one are the six merry murderesses from Chicago's Cell Block Tango. You do not want to mess with these sleek and sassy women justifying their criminal pasts. In another Fosse choreographed musical, the cell block tango has become iconic for a number of reasons. The intense storytelling, the fierce femininity, and the power and precision of their movements. With intense sequences and intricate partner work, their unity and determination really draws you in until you're invested in their stories. The themes of love, loss, and corruption are apparent throughout Chicago, and the cell block tango really sums all that up in one number. And that's why it's loved by so many around the world and takes its spot at number one on my list. So there we have it. That was my top five musical dance numbers. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if there was any in my list that you haven't heard of, definitely check them out. Here at Official London Theatre, we love to shine a light on the wonderful dancers that grace our stages in the West End and around the world. Make sure you like and subscribe below to keep up to date with Theatreland. Bye.